Should more Democrats appear on Fox News? The ice is breaking a bit in the presidential race, with Bernie Sanders having done a Fox town hall, and this week, Amy Klobuchar. Even a recent poll that Democrat women said that they felt like they should vote for a man this time. What do, what do you think when you hear that? Um, I think, may the best woman win. That's what I think. <laughs> Now the House Democratic Policy and Communications Committee is recruiting members to show up for Fox interviews and actually offering some media training. Joining us now from Southfield, Michigan, is Debbie Dingell, the panel's chairman and the Democratic congresswoman from Michigan. You've been on Fox News quite a bit. Uh, why are you actively urging some of your Democratic colleagues to also appear on the network? So I've done Fox long before I was a member of Congress. And I think it's really important as a member of Congress, you talk to everybody, you listen to everybody. Uh, you may have some disagreements with people. You, the people may have a different viewpoint from you. But if you're going to be effective, you got to hear different perspectives and you got to give your perspective. Uh, have you gotten flack uh, from some of your base for your appearances on Fox? Well, I can. I have warned my staff on many occasions, OK, I'm doing Fox, be ready for the negative hits. And I, you will see an uptick at times on my Facebook page and on my Twitter account and on Instagram. But, it, you know, there are people that can be very unkind out there, but there are also people who listen. And I've always believed you talk to everybody and you listen to everybody. That's part of the problem of what's happening right now. We're not listening to each other enough. Right. Everybody's in their own silos. Now, your committee put out a flyer telling members that uh, Fox has been the top-rated cable news network for uh, 207 months and that there are many straight news shows on Fox. This is quoting the flyer, in addition to the opinion lineup. Uh, and there were uh, some media uh, training sessions on Friday. Tell us about that. So we did tell people. I mean, that's the fact of the matter is that of the cable news programs, more people are watching you. So why should you just be not appearing on that? We've got a lot of, you know, the Democratic caucus has got a, a large number of different members, different backgrounds, different states, and you should just not appear. So uh, we have been encouraging people to come on Fox, not to boycott. I certainly have not. I, I mean, I have, as you know, done Fox for a long time. Yeah. doesn't mean I haven't had some bad interviews. But by the way, I've had some bad interviews on other shows. You do your homework, you prep. So there, we did do media training for members on Friday. But that media training, by the way, can also be helpful on other network news, other programs, you know. Right. I hate to remind Fox, but the fact of the matter is, is that the major network stations are still getting more viewers than anybody. Right. Of course, it's the cable news networks that cover this stuff 24 hours a day. Now, right. if Brett Baer and Martha McCallum in these town halls, and Chris Wallace is up next week, uh, are fair, uh, and I think the consensus has been they have been very fair, doesn't that undercut the argument by DNC Chairman Tom Perez that Fox should be banned from holding a presidential primary debate? Do you disagree with him on that? Uh, I respectfully disagree. I think that it's important that I just refuse to secede any market. And when they're voting, those are voters that are watching Fox. A lot of them may never vote for me, but I want to talk to them. I want them to hear why I take certain viewpoints. And, you know, I don't like the nasty, so do me a favor today. It's Mother's Day. You know, those of you who watch me and can be pretty ugly, let's refrain from that today. But if people disagree with me, I want to hear their viewpoints. I want to understand their perspective, and I want them to hear mine. Right. The Congresswoman would like a one-day hiatus because it is Mother's Day. Now, uh, this week, of course, especially this week, the press has been playing up Democrats who are calling for the impeachment of President Trump in light of the subpoena battles going on on Capitol Hill. And even Nancy Pelosi has said, you know, impeachment would be bad for the country unless it's bipartisan. Obviously, that's not where we are now. You've been very cautious on this issue. Do you think the view of Democrats who uh, either don't favor impeachment or want to go slow on any impeachment hearings has been kind of drowned out in the coverage? You know, this is what I'm going to say. I'm one of the people that read this report, and I'm now almost through it a second time. That when you read that report, there's a lot of data in there that bothers you. It's very clear that Russia tried to interfere in our election. But I'll tell you something else. Russia's trying to divide this country, and that's documented in this report. And I worry about the division that we see in this country today. And I think our democracy is something that's precious. It's something that we have to De uh, uh, defend every single day that we have to fight for. And I think that the 
president himself in refusing, re refusing to allow his people to come and testify is harming him. So I believe that we've got to continue to do oversight. It's a very important responsibility. Mm -hmm. You're seeing our committee's chairs do that. But uh, I, I, I agree with Nancy Pelosi that a partisan impeachment uh, would be a dangerous thing. But I'm hearing right. Republicans now getting, you know, Richard Burr is right. doing a subpoena. We wrap That's it up. what we need. Okay, we're wrapping. Congressman F Debbie Dingell, thanks so much for joining us this Sunday. Thank you. And happy Mother's Day.